like it. And I do gotta say, I was actually just mentioning this to Tal. I think, where are you going? I'm gonna try to talk to you. Come on this side. Oh, sorry. Yes. I was, I was just talking about this to Tal. I think Serbia has some of the most beautiful women I've seen on this entire trip. I agree. There's women walking by, it's just like, oh my goodness, Serbia! I think also because of the lack of tourism, it's easy to distinguish who is a local and who's not, yeah. or what looks like a Serbian person. And so, yeah, I, I, I agree 100%. Serbia, you're taking my heart. <laughs> so right in front of me, we have a dish called Kana Djordjevic, schnitzel. And this is one of the most popular items you can get in Serbia. I am super excited. And quick note, this is actually highly recommended to me by my friend Misha. If you've seen my videos, when I first started traveling from Thailand and Vietnam, Misha was my first travel partner, and he's Serbian, so he highly recommended I needed to get this. Basically what it is, it is a pork roll, uh, and deep fried as you can see, and breaded. But inside, uh, what is it called inside? What's the cheese called? Hold on, I'll call Misha. <laughs> One more time, what's in the inside of this? Kaimak. Okay, cool. Kaimak. Thanks, man. <laughs> so, that was Misha on the phone right there. He's helping me pronounce things. But inside is what's called Kaimak. It's kind of like a cream cheese. So, let's cut it open and see what this looks like. I'm so excited for this. Got some lemons. Let's cut this bad boy. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Let's just. <laughs> that looks so good. Wow. Alright, I'm excited to try this. Let's give this a try. So crispy. Here we go. Mm. Wow, that flavor. I love how crispy it is on the outside. On the inside, it's so warm and so juicy with that kaimak. Wow, this is amazing. Wow, guys, if you come here, if you eat meat, you need to try this. This is. I'm not even exaggerating right now, this is seriously one of the best dishes I've had on this trip. And we were specifically recommended to come to this restaurant for this dish. So, I'll leave some information in the description if you want to come here and get this for yourself. Because, whoa, that's delicious. Ladies and gentlemen, and it's now the next day and we are getting ready to check out of our Airbnb. But one more time, just want to mention how this place was super convenient and very affordable. So if you want to come, and actually, anywhere in the world. You can get an Airbnb for free. Well, $40 off an Airbnb. Check the link in the description. You'll get a free Airbnb. Who doesn't love free Airbnbs, right? So go check it out right now. Uh, and that's it for this video. I'm sure there's so many more things to do in Belgrade, but to be honest, we didn't have much energy to go out and explore. And we also spent a lot of time here in this Airbnb getting work done. So this desk was our little playground <laughs> but I know there's more things to do so if you have any recommendations drop them down in the comments below and if you plan on coming here maybe you can see more recommendations from what people have typed down below come on down to Belgrade ladies and gentlemen yeah it was a great city what'd you think use Airbnb codes use his little code in the yeah. description see? below see I thought it was amazing and I think this Airbnb is awesome as well watch out for that but we're getting ready to leave here we're going to our next city which you'll find out in the next video make sure to subscribe Click that bell to be notified of new videos, and also drop a like on this video if you made it this far, because it really does make a difference. Alright, thank you so much, we'll see you in the next video.